Favorite Weezer song of all time. You know, my worst Weezer song is a sweater song. Want to destroy my sweater? Shit. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why he's got to wear a sweater in California. It's hot out there, man. It's hot out there. It's like 90 degrees every day. Yeah, yeah, cover up the track marks. Covering up those track marks. Mm -hmm. it's, it's only California. 27 degrees here in Albuquerque. And look, I got my favorite white beater on. I'll destroy that sweater. You don't yeah. need a sweater. You live in California, you man. You just rip that sweater off and send it to someone in need. Someone down there why in the South Valley, man. They get cold down there. It's cold out here, man. Yeah, I'm going up to... The Northeast whites, you know, they can afford their it's own sweaters. Yeah, right. Not down there in the. Whoa! Oh, hey, that's our map! Thank you, Mike. The popular that's Albuquerque that's radio that's that's station has posted a map of the Deep City on their oh, website, man. but it's not your average map. This is the judgmental map of Albuquerque. It features nicknames for neighborhoods all across town. The radio station says it was all meant to be funny, but as News 13's Marissa Lucetto reports, some people aren't laughing. I don't think that's something you joke about. I didn't see anything that was positive on it. Oh! Oh! What? What are these white people saying? At first glance, it looks like any old map of Albuquerque. But when you take a good look, you see it's not a map used for directions. Instead, anyone could go on to judgmentalmaps.com and submit a map of their own city. The person who created the Albuquerque map has taken Northeast Heights and dubbed it the Northeast Whites. With sections for drug teens, oblivious parents, and delusional Republican Mexicans, some people who work in the area say the map crosses the line. People should have a sense of humor about things, but then when you see some of the comments that are being made, it's derogatory to certain types of people. Julie Trapnell says her main concern is the group of people most likely to see the map. 74-year-old cult leader, but that's not all. There's the no Mexican zone around Uptown, the war zone, Snob Hill, the pit labeled as Albuquerque's only blacks, South Valley as Poor Valley, and the Indian coloring book for the petroglyphs. But not everyone's offended. It doesn't really single out any group. Everyone sort of gets a made fun of. Yeah, that's true. That's the great thing about it. No, I don't think it's offensive. I think it's kind of funny. Marissa Lucetto, KRQE News 13. DJs at 103 put uh, the peak, put the map on the station website over the weekend. They say they thought it was funny and it has created a lot of buzz on social media. They, they didn't like it. I thought they'd like it. <laughs> man, I don't get these parents, man, getting all uptight and whatnot. Like, you know, you're white, get over it, you know? Uh, yeah, people saying this map's offensive. You know, people used to say Kid Rock was offensive, and look where he is now, the greatest musician of our time. You ever watch All in the Family? That was on network TV all the time, you know? That was just as bad if not worse I mean I never saw it my dad used to watch it you know beat my mom a couple times <laughs> miss my mom miss your mom so the reason we made the map was to educate the citizens of Albuquerque and potential residents of Albuquerque like we wanted to give them this socioeconomic data so they can make the choices of what neighborhoods to live in and avoid man I'm the last one to be accused of being racist. I love all people. My daddy's a black man. My mama's a China woman. And they went through some tough times in their relationship and they taught me growing up. They taught me, Russ, you love everybody. Doesn't matter if they're a black person or a China man. Nonetheless, you love them. You make fun of them on a little map or whatever, but you love them. And that's what I do. I love them. Um, I feel that it's pretty accurate. It reveals the social injustices of the uh, community, as well as revealing the gentrification. I think it's educational. I thought the citizens of Albuquerque would like it, and that they would unite, and they would friend me on the Facebook, um, and the Twitter, and maybe eventually in the real life, in the real world. And this map would help me have more friends, and my friends have more friends, and their friends have more friends, and my str and strangers in New Mexico have more friends all coming together over this map. But that's not... Sorry. That's not what happened at all. What happened was the opposite, and if I ever knew this was going to hurt people like it did, I never would have signed up for this. I never would have got that bootlegged copy of 
the body Photoshop and made the map to begin with because I never wanted to hurt anybody's feelings. Especially not the pretty news lady. Especially not the pretty news lady.